Welcome to the second phase of making this primitive hunting bow. So where we left off, the bow was starting to bend, but it's still really stiff. It's heavy, and I'm not even, I'm not able to see that even tiller yet. I've got a tillering tree, makeshift tillering tree that I set up here on the back deck that we're gonna use, and I'm gonna start taking some more material off the sides as well. The goal today is to actually get this bow shooting. So I'm gonna start taking wood off the sides here. I'm just eyeballing this. I've got my lines here towards the end that I'm gonna stay kind of consistent with, but everything else I'm just gonna sort of eyeball and go by feel. As I'm shaping up this bow, there's actually a slight S in it, and that is going to make the string favor one side. It's not an even S. I'm not going to try to fix that, like try to carve away from that and make it straighter. That way I don't have to put a arrow rest onto this, this bow. I could just shoot it off the knuckle, just full primitive style, take some of those sick arrowheads that you guys sent me with the arrows that I've already made. Turn this thing into a uh, straight shoot bow. Starting to get that little flex going in there, that's good. This handle section is still really thick. I'm gonna start taking off a little beef in the center here. Just feeling it to See what's gonna feel comfortable in my hand. Now I'm going to shape the tips from the 10 inches that I marked. We'll put in some docks and then get it on the tillering tree. This is just one of those things that's hard work but very rewarding. You know, it's one thing to go you know get you a compound bow and get good at it feel confident go out to the woods and get an animal that is uh, that is the highest archery feeling that I've experienced so far but just the the sweat that is going into making these bows and this being my final one and I feel like the wood is great. I've learned enough now to make it, you know, pretty decent. If I get a deer, guys, I, I might cry. It's going to be one of those things. Like, a deer. I don't even care. I'd probably start getting teary-eyed over a doe at this point. And I can only imagine what it must have felt like you know, building one of these with stone age tools, or not even stone age, but primitive tools back in the day, you know, taking sharp flint and carving these things. I'm using this draw knife, makes it so much easier. Just imagine 
taking some flint, scraping this off till it bends, and then getting an animal. Taking that back to your buddies at camp? Man, you'd be getting all the ladies. The point is, I just have a much greater appreciation for her. people that make bows and they're that are good at it and that hunt with them and actually take take animals with them. It's just it's really a skill. We're about five hours into it today, plus like five or six from last time, so 12 hours into it though. Alright, this left side's looking really good. That was, I think, 45 pounds and 18 inches. This section right here, I need to take some out of there. We got about 10 inches more to go to get it to 28, but I gotta be real careful not to underpower this bow because I don't wanna take too much off and then end up with, you know, 35, 40 pounds. I want this thing to be 50 pounds. That way I can take out basically any North American animal with this bow. Close, y'all. We are close to having an even tillered bow. Let's pull it around 22 inches right now. At like 45 pounds, so once I get it even, stretch it out, I think we're gonna be just fine. hands <laughs> my hands y'all they're they're just aching sore you do this bow making stuff your hands just they just get grimy it's a good thing it means I've earned my cold beer for today all right let's put this thing on the tillery tree and honestly I think it's gonna be pretty even besides this, this knot I got here I, I need a little special treatment on it thing is just tough but I think we're gonna shoot an arrow soon I'm actually gonna wait All right. my audio cut out on this clip for some reason but as you can see I've got the left limb that's flexing really nicely and the right limb still has that little stiff area because of that knot that I've got to work out but the bow is bending to 45 pounds at 25 inches so we got three inches to go, and I think uh, the weight's gonna be perfect, should be just around perfect. At the 28, we just got some shaping up to do. Uh, love that little bass cup that Amy gave me. Final tuning right here, guys. I'm gonna take some sandpaper, work around this knot, just to get any excess meat off from around it. I don't wanna dig into like the real dark part of it. string is usually about an inch short. This one is about four inches from the box. Don't break, please. Oh, there we go. Actually strung up quite easily right there. <laughs> hey, we have a bow. That's looking pretty good. It's looking really good, actually. Feeling nice. This 
point, I'm just taking sandpaper and a knife. Okay, let's check it out. Still work to do from you know fine tuning standpoint, making this thing pretty, maybe even flipping the tips to add a few more feet per second, but I think at this point we're ready to shoot an arrow. Let's see how it does. That string is sitting really hard on the left side where I'm shooting, which is it's okay for right now, but I'm Definitely gonna take this twist out of this tip. I'm gonna start fine tuning this bow. Please, Lord, do not let this thing break. Not doing a full anchor yet. Just, just so paranoid about bows breaking at this point. So this bow is now at the point where I can get an anchor on my face, which has been the goal. All my bows have been pretty much either right out in front of my face or just like my hand touching a little part of my face. So this is gonna help tremendously. some set that has come into the bow that or my string loosened up because it's normally I can put my hand through there now I can only get four fingers so I can actually get an anchor point on my face that is what I'm excited about I got to figure out what that is um, that's a whole nother experiment but it's gonna be similar to me shooting my compound where I can just be comfortable getting in one position going to that every time instead of having to just kind of guess. It's like throwing a baseball. So I feel pretty good about it, guys. The boat looks good too. You know, we got that one big knot on there, but it just gives it some character. Do a little sanding, put a leather handle on here. This thing's ready to take to the woods. I am happy the way this bow turned out, guys. It's, it's actually 48 pounds at 28, so it's just under what I wanted, but that's fine. I'll take it. It's for my only my fifth or sixth bow, I'd say I did, I've done a pretty good job. And man, I'm, ex I'm excited to take this to the woods. We're actually gonna head to the Deerly soon. First time this year and start getting things ready. I'm gonna take this bow with me. We're gonna do some pig stocking and maybe even some sitting. This is the last bow that I'm working on that I'm making for the season. And uh, I'm happy with it guys. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, Mondays are usually adventure style videos. Um, throw a vlog in there during the middle of the week and then also Tuesdays are technicals where I'm going into some sort of gear thing. So subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and may God bless you in all your outdoor adventures.
Godspeed, and I'll see you on the next one.